Boker Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. This morning here, we had uh, one of our friends there on our broadcast last night share with us uh, a quote from Mike Pence, the Vice President of the United States regarding Venezuela. Speaking in his conference speech here about Venezuela, obviously showing that the U.S. is going to use military intervention inside the country. Of course, this is only after they have allowed the country to plummet into chaos, starve the nation out in order to force them into this new world order agenda. Much like Syria, who wouldn't accept the Rothschild banks or the GMO food products. And of course, Iran is next on the slate. They've also rejected all these uh, things in their country. Czech Republic and as well as Hungary are also no doubt slated on the axe chopping blocks. And of course, even Poland has been thrown in there to have sanctions placed on them. But Poland only doesn't want the refugees. It's not that Poland's not already playing with NATO, the New World Order, and everything else. They are. But the Czech Republic hasn't quite fallen victim to that, and neither has Hungary. And of course, as we already said, Syria, Iran next. Lebanon as well because of Hezbollah in the southern part of the country. And I don't support Hezbollah by no means either. But the point is, and neither would I support Iran with its rhetoric against Israel, but the clear point is we're headed to a new world order. I want to first play this one clip here, and then at the very end you'll get to see where uh, Vi uh, Vice President Pence is actually speaking of a new world. I guess it's a new terminology for new world order. Listen to what he says right here as he speaks clearly of an intervention of the United States. We will continue to stand with three nations across our hemisphere until democracy is restored for the Venezuelan people. A failed state knows no boundaries. A failed state in Venezuela will drive more illegal drug trafficking with its murderous criminal consequences radiating outward across Latin America and into the United States. A failed state in Venezuela will drive more illegal migration, compromising our borders, damaging our economies. There's your excuses. A failed state in Venezuela will endanger the security, prosperity, and well-being of all of us who call the Western Hemisphere home. Now, President Trump and I are grateful. We're grateful for Argentina's leadership in condemning the Maduro regime. We applaud the measures President Macri has taken to track down corrupt Venezuelan officials. We're also grateful that Argentina voted with Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay to suspend Venezuela from the Mercosur until democracy is restored. And we gratefully recognize Argentina for joining 11 other countries to sign the Lima Declaration just last week, sending a powerful message that the free peoples of the Americas will stand with the Venezuelan people and we will stand up to their oppressors. So as you can see, we're definitely going to have an intervention in Venezuela there. And of course, the New World Order putting pressure on Venezuela after, of course, they were basically overthrown from within. Uh, I want you to hear the last part of uh, his speech right here. And this is where he talks about the New World. Definitely a New World Order. Listen to what Mike Pence has to say. The Venezuelan people will be free once more. For here in the new world, freedom always wins. Here in the new world, freedom always wins. That kind of tells you that the new world order is already in place. It is now working. The only problem is there are a few countries that are still not quite fully on board. I don't think Russia is quite there either, but maybe they are. Maybe I'm just totally mistaken. I do know that Maria Zakharova is clearly anti-New World Order. And I learned this as well from Vanessa Bealey, who interviewed her personally. And Vanessa, we speak with her from time to time, just getting her insights on what's going on in the Middle East. Speaking of Vanessa, this morning she published this article here from, uh, from Sputnik News. Syrian Foreign Ministry accuses U.S.-U.K. of supplying toxic agents to terrorists. Now, we've stated all too often that this is exactly what is going on inside of Syria, that it has been the Western powers, I hate to say it, it's my own country, involved in supplying chemical weapons, as we brought out clearly from different uh, sources already on this, 
uh, and including uh, Aaron Erdem, who was a MP member of the Turkish parliament, in prison for bringing out the evidence that Turkey helped facilitate the sarin gas into the country. Well, now we have a new evidence of toxic gas here. On Wednesday, the Syrian foreign ministry has accused the U.S. and the U.K. of supplying CS and CN toxic agents to terrorists. According to the Syrian ministry of foreign affairs, the toxic agents found in Aleppo and Damascus suburb were produced by one British company and two American companies. The special equipment found consistent of hand grenades and rounds for grenade launchers equipped with CS and CN toxic agents. The chemical munitions were produced by the federal laboratories companies in the U.S. The toxic agents were produced by uh, Cherming Defense UK and non-lethal technologies U.S. Syrian Deputy Foreign Minister Faisal uh, Mikdad said. According to the Deputy Foreign Minister, the poisonous substance were found in the storehouses of the militants in Aleppo and eastern suburbs of Damascus. So once again, uh, those chemical weapons being traced back uh, to Western uh, civilizations there. And there's been many reports that we've done on this already, clearly showing that Bashar al-Assad has never used chemical weapons against his own people. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. By the way, keep in mind as well, uh, yesterday's report, because it kind of threw uh, Rex Tillerson in, uh, in the crosshairs of, of the political battle, you might say, that his involvement as Secretary of State certainly is facilitating uh, or using the Kurdish people as a means for, for, for setting up a state for them as a means to gather that oil reserves that are there inside the country. And you have to understand, I've never been against the Kurdish people. One man was making a comment in there, and I appreciate his comment. He said, do they not deserve a state? I agree, yes, they do. They have been massacred and murdered by the Turkish government, which only shows that they have been involved with the United States. The U.S. has allowed the massacre to happen to the Kurdish people only until it is at their pleasure that they can create a state so that the United States can get their oil supply from uh, Syria. But it's not going to work. As Hosea the prophet said, the Kur the Kur excuse me, the Syrians will not save you. And no, it's not going to work. It's only going to fail. They're trying to bring about a new world order, but believe me, God has a different idea, and his new world order doesn't include all of his murderous regimes as the abomination of desolations has clearly been doing here for, for, the, for, for practically two millennia, uh, that is. And so a lot of things coming up here. We're going to be covering these things, bringing more of this out to you. And that video, by the way, because Rex Tillerson's name was in there, clearly has been blocked by YouTube, suppressing the views on there so that people cannot see how many people are really are viewing this. With uh, over 300 thumbs up there, I'm sure that this video is going to go much higher but they don't want it to go that way. Going to be no different with uh, Vice, Vice President Mike Pence. I encourage you to share it with everyone because why President Trump, my, Vi, Vice President Mike Pence, who is what he's, uh, of course, he's born again, but he's definitely going along with a new world order agenda. And that's the sad truth about it. I'm not here to sugarcoat it for anyone. I don't think Hillary Clinton was definitely, definitely not any better. Uh, on her ticket, no doubt about it, but it's very alarming to me to see this new world agenda being promoted by the Vice President of the United States. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Don't forget to support this broadcast because somebody's going to tell you the truth, and we will as long as we're able to stay on the air. Shalom, and God bless you.